Well, hey guys, just want to give you a little update on my uh, EUC world life. <laughs> and I have a new wheel in the house. This is uh, the EXN by Gatway. I'm still calling them Gatway until they change their, uh, they're still using the Gatway logo. So I feel okay, I can do that. <laughs> this is provided to me again by Rose at Yuko. Thanks again, Rose. Um, they've really been providing me a good source of uh, test wheels lately. And uh, I'm going to have a, a lot of fun with this wheel, I think. I uh, just put the, the uh, stock side pads on, which I think will they'll be, uh, they'll be good enough for what I'll be doing with it for now. And I installed uh, spiked pedal inserts. These are from uh, Chris Chappett. And I really do not want to ride any wheels without uh, spike pedals, in particular performance wheels that I might be taking up on trails. Uh, so the EXN, I got to tell you guys, I uh, now I haven't done any extensive riding at all with this, but I've done a little bit of riding with it, and oh my god. <laughs> Uh, I, I feel like a broken record talking about the new wheels which are coming out and that they're all so great in their own way. This wheel has more instantaneous torque slash power, whatever you want to call it, than any other wheel, large performance wheel than I have ever ridden before, <laughs> like I like to say, on planet Earth. As of April 2021, I rode the EX for a few miles, um, maybe a couple months ago, and I think I'm gonna I'm gonna have access to uh, one for more extensive testing. But that wheel, you guys in comments can correct me, but that wheel did not exhibit the kind of torque that this one does. This wheel reminds me of my Tesla, a 16 inch lightweight wheel with rigid pop pads. I love the, the hard mode on the Tesla. I mean, you get on it and it just feels like the pedals are just rigid. Moving forward, backward, they don't, they don't tilt at all. It's just, it's just perfectly solid. This wheel, <laughs> it's the same thing. I got on this wheel and it immediately gave me that impression of uh, one of the lighter, super torquey Gatway wheels. Pedals super rigid and just slight pressure forward or backward and, and, and the wheel wanted to move. I mean, wow. <laughs> I'm like super impressed as, as you, you can tell. Uh, uh, this is really frustrating, guys. Um, the the level of wheels that we have access to right now in 2021 is uh, mind blowing. I mean, uh, I'm going to have to get rid of another wheel to make room for this wheel because, I, as I've told some of you, I'm going to really keep under 10 wheel or keep at 10 wheels, no more than 10 wheels. So I'm going to have to. Uh, get rid of a wheel to make room for this guy and it's probably going to be either the Kingsong 16X or the MSP because I think this is going to be able to replace the MSP. The pedal clearance is a little higher than the MSP and my god it's it has more power than the MSP I can just tell right immediately right now. Ah, so decisions, decisions. <laughs> so expect to see more videos for me on this and uh, and by the way regarding the, the Tesla so uh, I posted a video a while back where I installed this this Enduro tire 2.4 inch on there and I, I thought it was cool at the time and I love the sound of it and it rides great on a straight line but uh, you know I tried giving it time and uh, I could never fall really fall in love with that tire the, Actually, I, I, I've, uh, I've learned to hate the tire. 
uh, sorry about that flip if you're seeing this video, but uh, turning performance, carving, any kind of carving and turning, this that tire is horrible in my opinion. And I, I think it comes down to these outer treads, which are thick, stiff, and they have a sharp edge. So when you're doing any kind of tur turning, you're, you're riding in that point on this uh, hard tread outside edge. So it, um, it, it turns horribly. It understeers, it basically uh, feels very unstable when you're, you're carving and turning. So I'm gonna install the stock Tesla tire and I'm done with tire uh, experiments. To be honest, I'm done with tire experiments and all my wheels. I'm not that picky. I seem to love all the tires that the wheels ship with, and I'm, I'm just tired of experimenting with, with tires. Um, I end up being disappointed more often than that. All right, well, that's just a little short uh, update on my EUC life, and uh, I'll see you soon with more uh, EXN videos.